Greetings once again from Miss Barr's coffee table. And yes, you're right. You spy too old and too new. And I bet you can figure out what makes all these books alike. You got it. They all have crayons. But there's already something different about the bottom two and the top two, even though you haven't read them yet. These two have one set of author and illustrator. These were made by the same two people. This is a new author, Drew DeWalt, and a new illustrator. And look, his name's upside down on this book. On this book, it says it's Oliver Jeffers. So they're also alike because it took one person to make the words the author and one person to make the words the illustrator, but it's two different sets of books, even though they both have crayons in them. Okay, this is The Day the Crayons Quit. I'm making, I'm gonna read this one first. Oh, it's sideways, because this was made first. And I have to tell you, as soon as it came out, it was one of my favorites. So this one's older than the ones we've already read. Drew DeWalt, DeWalt, I think maybe you have to say, and Oliver Jeffers had good ideas. And I hope you've been having good ideas with your crayons. But, oh, lots of crayons on these end pages. That's a good clue. And there's a dedication. And there's the crayons. And there's some signs. It says, we're not happy. Let's see how they figure out their problem. So the words are on this side. Look, those look like real letters. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Oh, there's a beautiful picture. What color crayon do you think made that? And they, he also, or she, made, sorry about the shadows today, made a letter. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. What holidays need red? I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest your overworked friend red crayon yep i see lots of red there don't you oop who's next dear duncan all right listen i love that i'm your favorite crayon for grapes dragons and wizard hats but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines if you don't start coloring inside the lines soon I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Do your crayons write letters to you? Are you being fair to them? Uh-oh, he doesn't look happy either. What color is he? And what's that? Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige. Right there. We didn't put beige on our word wall, did we? And I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Have you ever colored wheat? Duncan gray crayon here. I know you love elephants. Look, it's a huge elephant. Something, a couple other animals too. And I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling all of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks. Pebbles, how about one of those once in a while to give me a break? 
look, he kind of changed his mind and crossed it out like we do sometimes. Your very tired friend, gray crayon. Oh, what color is that? But what color did he write on? We figured that out. That's the way white shows up best, because look here. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, he had to think a while, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. What do you think these are pictures of? Well, they told us. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. So this is all of Duncan's artwork. Oh, look here. Does that look quite right? Which crayon's talking this time? Here's his letter. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice, beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask your friend black crayon? What other thing is he hoping to be black? I've never owned a black beach ball, have you? Ooh, my favorite. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Okay, they're not getting along. Which color do you think the sun should be? Ooh, there's a coloring page. Oop, there's yellow. There's orange. Orange doesn't look happy. Dear Duncan, Yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are not no longer speaking. And I can prove in the, I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can you can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Okay, yellow crayon has his evidence about being the color of the sun. Who do you think is going to write a letter next? Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayons already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, would you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. So this time, orange had his evidence about being the color of the sun. I think Duncan thinks both are right. He's done both, hasn't he? Dear Duncan, look here. Does he look the same as the other crayons? It has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, and rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon.
Oop. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, pink crayon. That could give you an idea of what to draw with your own crayons. You could make unusual things like pink dinosaurs or pink cowboys. Uh-oh. What's this? And look where. Dear Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrap it, wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend, Peach Crayon. I don't know, how can you fix it once you take the paper off your crayons? They'll be naked, won't they? Oh, look at, has Duncan read all these letters? Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. What do you think Duncan's going to do to solve the problem with all the complaints all these different colored crayons had? Ooh, Duncan can make beautiful pictures like you can. I think he listened to all the things they had to say. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. And oh, there's gonna be some more on the next page. I'll do this and you can pause it if you want because there's lots of detail. Duncan colored the whole page, every bit of it. And you could too, make up your own ideas. This is a whole scene, isn't it? So Duncan's teacher gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. Creativity means you use your imagination and you come up with your own idea, just like the author and the illustrator of the day the crayons quit. Thank you for reading, and you know I have another one to read to you next.